Hey dude, just wanted to show you, yeah, you got to turn this on, right? Modding, enable context viewer, ignore what it says there about stability, not guarantee that. Seems to, I've never noticed any problems with stability with this on. Alright, so you turn that on, and then I'm going to show you <coughs> a little thing here. So I've deliberately made this script fail. So this is a broken script that's not working correctly, which lots of mods have because a lot of people are amateurs, they're not... They don't know what they're doing with Lua uh, very well, and they will create problems with the script. Now, the problem with the script is um, when it, when your script crashes, any other mod using a script is now in rendered inoperable. That's why you got to tick this this um, tick that thing I just showed you at the start because look what happens here. Now that I've ticked that thing, this red cross is coming up. You don't see that if that's not ticked. Get this shit off my screen. It's actually warning you right there. The Lua script has failed since last campaign. Many features are likely to be broken until the campaign is reloaded. So yeah, and then you can just do a reload and that'll reset the scripts. So like, um, what's an example of that? Alright, let me load something up real quick. Because this is a bad example. I fight, I am sworn. <clears throat> I'll show you something else as well. It's important to know. I think, yeah, if you just tell your viewers this, this will help so much. I always get, this shits me off so much. I get people complain to me, like, this thing has a bug. This thing isn't working. And I'm like, no, I know that thing is flawless. The problem is another mod you're running has caused it to crash, has killed the scripts. And it kills every single script for every mod. So it's like another mod is actually the cause of the problem, but I'm getting blamed because... The thing that I'm trying to do has been has been killed by the mod. So I recommend now you've got like a huge bunch of mods, right? Like basically turn on that tick box and turn on this other thing I'll tell you and then run your game and, and play a couple turns. See if you get the red cross coming up because if you do, you know you've got some dodgy lure scripts there. So here's an example, right? Look at this. I've got this thing. I've got a script set up here so that when you reach 100% uh, defense level, this will trigger the final siege of Toya Rest, which is a Vortex campaign quest battle. And that is that is using a script to do that. And I'll show you where that is. Because, you know, I'm not expecting users to be uh, fluent in Lua. I barely know Lua myself. I'm an amateur. I'm not a programmer like Wolfie. But um, you should know why things are happening. So you can... I'm what I'm trying to teach you here, and hopefully you can teach people... It's just some basic troubleshooting you can do to actually solve problems yourself instead of uh, just sort of being clueless in the Steam comments, annoying modders with problems that aren't actually caused by them, or just like being able to sort of solve problems yourself and then not actually need to go to the comments. So here, I've, this is this is an example of a script. A listener is just like something that's waiting to be triggered. So. I'm, I'm basically listening. I'm listening for for the player Eltharion to get a hundred uh, defense points, which is the level three thing. And then once once it listens and it hears that, it then fires off the quest, trigger mission. So that is an example. This whole thing here is a Lua script, <clears throat> and that can um, if someone else has got a script and they've got a bug in the code and it breaks and that red cross comes up. My script, which is pristine, is now completely non-functional until the player reloads their, their save. So that's the problem there. So even though things can be quote-unquote compatible, like it's not crashing, it is they are interfering with each other, they are causing problems. Now the other thing I want to show you is... Um, we'll go to... Yeah, I think I did say in my little compatibility notes section, like, turn on, turn on, um, 
there's a certain mod you want called script debug. Now I'm going to show you, and this is, a, this is now part two, I'm showing you now, and viewers really should learn this, is how to use script debug. And it's, so there's script debug activator, you just turn this mod on, it's always running. Now what it does uh, is it's generating these notepads every time you play a game. It's making a notepad file. So I use Notepad Plus as well because it just has more functionality. So now I so this is a script that's just uh, this is a um, log note that's been generated from having that mod on. I search the word error. Bang! It actually is saying, look here, this script has failed because of the error that I this is an error I deliberately put in. And it's saying there, string campaign mod VCO listeners dot hf dot lua, which is, uh, um, yeah, that one there. It's actually, so it, usually you can sort of tell just by looking at that, like, oh, okay, that's that mod. Because usually people will name their mods roughly what, the file name will roughly match what they're doing. If not, it's a bit hard to figure out what is the problem but just by doing this you can at least sort of be like okay why was that crashing open up the script log search the word error and then you can read me like okay so this mod's causing an issue i'm going to try and turn this mod off now and yeah hopefully that isn't a good ex that, that, that is how i troubleshoot when people come to me saying so and so didn't work i'm like turn on this mod run this thing again cause the error again open up the log Let's have a look at the log, and then I'd be like, oh, okay, it's this. This is the mod that's in conflicting with my mod. And, you know, most of the time, I don't blame modders either, because modders are just doing this for fun. They're not professionals. So, of course, they're going to have buggy stuff, and things are going to break, and things are going to work well together. But modders cannot account for the 1,000 other mods out there. They're only working on their own mod. And, unfortunately, the way this works is, yeah someone's mod over there that you've got nothing to do with, you didn't even know it existed, can kill your mod because as soon as this error happens, it's killed and the red cross comes up, you know that every single mod that has scripts is no longer working. So, let me know if you've got any questions from that. But um, I think it'd be really valuable for people to just know the basic skill of have that checkbox always on so you can watch for the red cross because when you know you've got a red cross, you're like, okay, my campaign is now fucked. I need to reload. Because often, yeah, something can cause the Red Cross, and then you can just load the save. You can go save and then load. Just the act of loading takes, uh, resets the scripts. So it's not like it. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to go back to before what caused the Red Cross. You can just load the save, and carry on. But whenever you see that Red Cross, shit is broken. And unfortunately, if you don't have that checkbox ticked, which I showed you at the start of this video. You, the Red Cross isn't is there, but it's invisible, so you won't you won't you won't actually know what's going on. So I reckon everyone should always have that on. Everyone should always be running this script log program as well to help them, or they can turn it on when they get an issue if they want to, because it does just keep creating Notepad files. You have to keep sort of culling them, or else they'll just build up forever. But yeah, so let me know if you've got any questions. I hope that's helpful, man.